Okay, this is number six from the uh, 2011 BC exam. It is the series question. Um, so what we want to do ultimately in part A is find a series for sine of x squared, but the first part says to just write the first four non-zero terms of the series for sine of x, and uh, you should walk through the door knowing that that is x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the fifth over 5 factorial minus x to the seventh over 7 factorial. I'm going to do plus dot dot dot. All right, so for sine of x squared, all we really have to do is um, replace every x that we see here with x squared. So the first x becomes x squared, and then it'll be um, minus, and then x squared cubed is x to the sixth, so over 3 factorial, and then plus x squared to the fifth is x to the tenth over 5 factorial, and x squared to, to the seventh is x to the fourteenth, and over 7 factorial, plus dot dot dot, and that's all you had to do for part A. Um, part B is kind of really similar, actually. We have to write the first four non-zero terms of cosine, which you should walk in knowing. So that's 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial, plus x to the 4th over 4 factorial, and minus x to the 6th over 6 factorial, plus dot, dot, dot. And now what we're supposed to do is combine our answer from uh, A for sine of x squared with our answer here. So let me just recopy sine of x squared. Um, and then what I'm going to do is combine them term by term until I get four non-zero terms. Uh, so if you look at cosine, it's x to the zero, x squared, x to the fourth. For sine of x squared, we have um, x squared, x to the sixth. So I think we're going to need to go up to um, zero, two, four, six, up to the sixth power. So um, f of x is sine of x squared plus cosine of x which means, so we get the 1, and then now we're on to x squared terms. So we have a minus x squared over 2 factorial, and plus an x squared. Then uh, x to the 4th, so plus x to the 4th over 4 factorial, and then x to the 6th, so each of them contributes something to that. We get that, and then just plus dot dot dot. And um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of factor. So with uh, x squared, I have a coefficient of 1 and a coefficient of negative 1 over 2 factorial. So I'm going to do that, which is obviously just 1 half, but, you know, I'm leaving it like that for now. x to the 4th is just 1 over 4 factorial, x to the 4th. And then uh, for x to the 6th, I have a negative 1 over 6 factorial and a negative 1 over 3 factorial. So I'm going to combine those. So I'm just combining like terms here. And that will give me x to the 6th, and then plus dot, dot, dot. All right, so that's my series. Um, it turns out in the next part, I'm actually going to simplify that a little bit. So f of x is really 1 plus um, 1 half of x squared plus x to the 4th over 4 factorial plus negative 1 over 3 factorial minus 1 over 6 factorial x to the 6th, blah, blah, blah. And uh, what we're supposed to do here is find the 6th uh, derivative at 0. You can tell by looking at the series that it's actually centered at 0, so um, we can actually do this. What you need to know is the um, basic Taylor formula. So it's the nth derivative at a, x minus a to the n over n factorial, which means in this case what we're looking at really is just the coefficient of x to the 6th. The coefficient of x to the 6th should be the 6th derivative at 0 over 6 factorial. And that's equal to, looking at our polynomial, or our series rather, equal to that. So I just write that down. I'm going to cross multiply to get this. I could probably stop here, um, but I'm going to keep going. So I'm going to distribute um, that. So I have uh, 3 factorial is 6, so really when I distribute, I just end up with negative 5 factorial, which is negative 120. And then when you distribute, distribute the 6 factorial to 1 over 6 factorial, it cancels. So I get negative 121. And uh, the final part is about error. It's the Lagrange error bound, which uh, people are not really fond of, but it's really not that difficult. Um, so we're given a graph of the absolute value of the fifth derivative. That should be a huge hint that um, we're going to be looking at the fifth derivative in terms for finding the error. So we're trying to show that um, the fourth degree polynomial here, evaluated at one fourth, approximates the function evaluated at one fourth with an error of less than one over three thousand. 
Uh, so let's make sure that we all know the um, Lagrange error bound. So error is less than m, which is the mysterious part, times the absolute value of x minus a to the n plus 1. So x is where the polynomial is being evaluated, 1 fourth in this case. a is the center, 0 in this case. And then over the quantity n plus 1 factorial. So basically the exponent of uh, that absolute value will be the same as the um, factorial in the denominator. And m is the maximum of the absolute value of the n plus, plus first derivative on the interval from x to a, or sometimes the interval from a to x. Um, in this case, it's a to x because uh, a is less than x. a is 0, x is 1 fourth. All right. So there's the interval on the graph, 0 to 1 fourth. And I'm going to draw a little horizontal line. You can see that on that interval, uh, that function is always less than 40. I mean, it's always less than some other number, too, but I'm not really sure what that number is. Um, so I'm going to use 40 for m. So the maximum of the absolute value of the fifth derivative on 0 to 1 fourth is less than 40. So that means that the error is less than 40 times the absolute value of 1 fourth minus 0 to the fifth over 5 factorial. And then I have to simplify this because I have to get it to uh, be less than 1 over 3,000. So um, 5 factorial is 120. So 40 over 120. And then 1 fourth to the fifth. Um, so that simplifies to 1 third and then 1 over 1024, and if you're like most people, you probably had to multiply that out, uh, which, you know, you'll have time for, so that's not a problem. So you can see that uh, 3 times 1024 is greater than 3,000, so this fraction is definitely less than 1 over 3,000. And uh, that's the whole problem, so I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.